What really happens to us after we die? Well, statistically speaking, one out of every one persons on the planet is eventually going to die. This is reality, and so it's a question that affects each and every one of us, and it's something that we need to know the truth about. Now, just like many things, there are many opinions, but there is only one truth. So I have my Bible open to Luke chapter 16, and let's see what the Bible says. Let's start with verse 19 and following. And this is a, a, a passage of Scripture where Jesus was telling a true story about two men that had died. We know it's a true story and not a parable because one of the men in this story is named. His name is Lazarus. So these were two men that lived on the earth and died. And Jesus tells us exactly what happened with them. It says, There was a certain rich man which was clothed in purple and fine linen and fared sumptuously every day. And there was a certain beggar named Lazarus, which was laid at his gate full of sores, and desiring to be fed with the crumbs which fell from the rich man's table. Moreover, the dogs came and licked his sores. And it came to pass that the beggar died and was carried by the angels into Abraham's bosom. The rich man also died and was buried. And in hell he lift up his eyes, being in torments, and seeth Abraham afar off and Lazarus, in his bosom. And he cried and said, Father Abraham, have mercy on me, and send Lazarus that he may dip the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue, for I am tormented in this flame. But Abraham said, Son, remember that thou in thy lifetime received thy good things, and likewise Lazarus evil things, but now he is comforted, and thou art tormented. And beside all this, between us and you there is a great gulf fixed so that they which would pass from hence to you cannot, neither can they pass to us that would come from thence. Now Jesus continued with this story, but I want to stop here, because I think we've read enough to understand what happens to a person when they die. Jesus said of this rich man that he died and was buried and lifted up his eyes and he was in hell. And Jesus said of this man Lazarus, this beggar, that he died and was carried by the angels into Abraham's bosom. Now, Abraham's bosom is a, is, a, is a name for a place that Jesus also called paradise. And at that particular time, before our Lord Jesus Christ died on the cross and rose again, that place was in the center of the earth, in a place that was far off from hell, but where those that were in hell and those that were in paradise could see each other, but they could not cross over one to another. But when our Lord Jesus Christ gave up the ghost on that cross, when the blood had been shed, which was what the blood of bulls and goats was a symbol of all throughout the time of the Old Testament, then the saints that were in the center of the earth were released from that place so that they could come into the presence of God because the blood had been shed. The blood of the Lamb had been shed. And so for that reason, there was a great earthquake when our Lord Jesus Christ gave up the ghost and the rocks rent and the veil in the temple was rent from the top to the bottom and hell enlarged itself underneath when the righteous were taken out of this place that Jesus referred to as Abraham's bosom. And so now hell covers that whole area. And that's why there was that great earthquake, according to the scripture. And so we can see that when a man dies, if he is not right with God, he will go to hell. And he will be in the fire, in torments, screaming in torment. And he will be thirsting, but will have no access to anything to drink. He will be hungry, but have no access to anything to eat. He will have no access to being, to being able to lay down for a moment and get some rest. Or even a moment of rest from the torment of the fire burning his flesh. That's what will happen to a man that is not right with God when he dies. And if a man is righteous, if he is baptized in the name of Jesus Christ and filled with the Holy Ghost and living according to the word of God, if he is righteous when he dies, then he will ascend into heaven and be in the presence of God to await the resurrection to wait the time when he will be reunited with his glorified body in the presence of God. This is what the Bible says. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen.